Well, listen, I want to get to uh, I want to get to this debate that apparently Obama signed off on it and um, <laughs> Murdoch signed off on it, this debate and potentially in Georgia between Governor Newsom, who's, I guess, in the wings waiting for the Biden to uh, the Biden train to derail or something and DeSantis. Now, DeSantis, you know, he's going to be on the debate stage. Trump is not going. I mean, he's not made the announcement, but it makes no sense. Of course, we'll be there live. But what? tell me about how that transpired and why the Murdochs are so behind this debate. Well, as we know, and as my reporting and we've discussed on your show in the past, John, Rupert Murdoch is 100 percent behind Ron DeSantis. Uh, we know that he flew Ron DeSantis out to his ranch in California where he committed to put the, the entire News Corp media empire, which includes Fox News and uh, the New York Post and the Wall Street Journal and, and the HarperCollins uh, Publishing, which is the publishing company that gave Ron DeSantis his multi-million dollar book deal so that he could pretend to run, uh, well, have a book tour while he was actually illegally running for president in violation of FEC laws. And so uh, the Murdochs are invested. They've put too much money into Ron DeSantis. They bet on the wrong horse. And so now they're trying to uh, position Ron DeSantis uh, on a debate stage with Gavin Newsom, as opposed to putting him on a debate stage with Donald Trump, because they know that he doesn't really have the charisma. He doesn't have the ability, the or the suave um, or really just like the intellectual capacity to go head to head with Donald Trump on a debate stage. And you've seen that the Uniparty, that, right, they really want to kind of create this matchup. They've been doing it for the last two years where there's been these scripted almost clashes in the media. Media, if you recall, between Gavin Newsom of California and Ron DeSantis, where, you know, Gavin Newsom took out banners and uh, billboards on the highways in the state of Florida. And then Ron DeSantis traveled to California, where he was telling everybody to come move to Florida, where he says, woke goes to die. Uh, but really, they're one in the same. And if you recall, a couple uh, months ago, uh, when I was on your program and we were discussing how Kevin McCarthy has weaponized his donor base against Donald Trump and has encouraged his donors in California to support Ron DeSantis, the donors that hosted that Central Valley uh, fundraiser for Ron DeSantis, where he said that he was against President Trump's uh, trade policy and didn't think that we should have tariffs on China, those donors who hosted that event were Gavin Newsom donors, if you look at the FEC reports. So you have to ask yourself, if Ron DeSantis is such a threat to Gavin Newsom and they're, they're such polar opposites, why are his... Uh, why are Gavin Newsom's mega millionaire, billionaire, Central Valley, California donors uh, also donating to Ron DeSantis, right? So uh, it's just a psyop. They want to try to convince people that we actually really have a two-party system in this country when we all know it's just a uniparty. Uh, Gavin Newsom hates Donald Trump. Ron DeSantis hates Donald Trump. And the Murdoch empire hates Donald Trump. And right now they're just, you know, using each other uh, for the sake of getting Trump. That's what everybody's doing in our political ecosystem right now.